Hi, I'm Adrian Haverstadt, Director of Criminal Justice at Berkeley College. I'd like to share with you a short story about one of our nation's first elder statesmen. Edward P. McCabe was an African-American politician and businessman, most notable for promoting black settlements in Oklahoma and Kansas. He was born in 1850 near New York City, where he attended school until his father's death. As the eldest son, Edward felt compelled to leave school to support his family by serving as a clerk on Wall Street. At age 26, McCabe moved to Chicago and continued his clerking work. Then in 1878, at age 28, McCabe left Chicago and moved to Nicodemus, Kansas, where he eventually became an elder statesman. Nicodemus, Kansas was founded in 1877 at the end of the Civil War. It was formed by African Americans migrating to the West and soon became one of the most famous all-black communities in our country. The founders of Nicodemus envisioned it as a place where African American settlers would have both political freedom and economic opportunity. In its heyday, Nicodemus was a prosperous community surrounded by black-owned farms. The town had two newspapers, a drugstore, a bank, a schoolhouse, three churches. It even owned its own adult baseball team. It also had a two-story general store, which was nearly unheard of at the time. Nicodemus served its intended purpose by providing safety from the violence experienced by many of its residents from the South and allowed them to own land, build farms, and exist as a community where they could educate their children and govern their own affairs. Today, Nicodemus still stands as a small village in Graham County and is the longest lasting African American homestead community in the United States. Today, 45 descendants of the original settlers still reside in the community and they maintain several of the historical sites there. Nicodemus is listed as a National Historic Site of the National Parks Service. It was in Nicodemus where McCabe established himself as an attorney. When Graham County was established in 1888, he was appointed temporary clerk and officially elected as Graham County Clerk the year after. In 1882, he successfully stood as the Republican candidate for the state auditor of Kansas, making him the most important black office holder outside of the South. McCabe used his political savvy to promote and establish nearly 30 more all-black towns in Oklahoma between 1890 and 1910. Kansas State Auditor McCabe is still recognized as Nicodemus' most prominent city. He is buried today in Topeka, Kansas. The criminal justice system is designed to deliver justice for all. It should be rooted in compassion and reflect a desire to see things made right in the world. It is designed to dis restore relationships, to mend broken lives, and to see hurtful and hurting people made whole. Thank you, Edward McCabe, for doing your part to make things right in our nation as an attorney and one of our nation's first African-American elder statesmen. You can learn more about criminal justice and the rich heritage of it by studying at Barclay College. Please look us up. We're on the web, www.barclaycollege.edu. That's B-A-R-C-L-A-Y, college.edu.